Hi guys, I'm back. My name is Mr. Josilito. Today we're going to talk about calculating the missing angles. First, let's have our objectives. This is our target for today. Students should be able to calculate the missing angle of a right angle, right angle, calculate the missing angle of a straight line, and calculate the missing angle of a circle, and apply the knowledge in calculating the missing angles. First, let's start with calculating the missing angles of a right angle. Remember that in a right angle, the measure of the angle that is formed is 90 degrees. So if we want to find the missing angle, let's say 40 degrees and another angle forming right angles, how can we find the missing angle? Basically, we write the mathematical equation uh, for 40 degrees plus DA will give us 90 degrees angle. So we can rewrite this in using subtraction. A is equals to 90 degrees minus 40 degrees. So A is equals to 50 degrees. Okay, if you subtract 90 minus 40, you will get 50 degrees. All right, now let's try to practice. Let's say we have all right, uh, angle A and a 34 degrees angles forming 90 degrees. How can we find measure angle A? You can pause this video and try to practice this. Okay, so basically we start, we start at writing 34 plus A is equals to 90. And then we subtract 90 minus 34, we got 56 degrees. Now try another one. Okay, so step one, write the mathematical statement and then subtract the given angles to 90 degrees. 90 minus 65 is 25 degrees. Now let's have this note. Always remember that in a right angle, the sum of the angles must be 90 degrees. Okay, now you can try this one. Uh, it's in page 89 of your student book. You can work this out. Okay, find the measure of the green angles. And you can post your video, uh, you can post your answer in the student book, uh, in the class drive folder. Now let's have the calculating missing angles of a straight line. Okay. A straight line forms 180 degrees angle. Okay, if you were given an angle forming on a straight line, that means the sum of the angles must be 180 degrees. Okay, look at these angles, 86 and angle A. So if we want to find 86 plus a blank, or we put it A, we subtract 180, A is equals to 180 minus 86 degrees. How much it is? So basically 180 minus 86 is 94 degrees. Okay. Now let's try another one. What if it is 94 degrees? Oh, oh wait. What if it is another angle? Let's say 37 degrees and B. How are we going to find B? So we subtract 37 degrees by 180 and then we will get 143 degrees. So therefore angle B is 143 degrees, okay? Now, calculate the missing angles. This time it's your turn. I have 18 degrees. What is the measure of angle C? Okay, 180 minus 18 is? Okay, 162 degrees. Perfect. Got it? Now, what if there, are, there were three angles? If the two angles were given, it would be easy. Okay? Step one, write the mathematical statement. 37 plus 71 degrees plus D is equals to 180. And then add 37 plus 71 equals to 108. After you subtract that to 180, 180 minus 108, you will get 72 degrees. So therefore, angle D is 72 degrees. Now let's try one more. 
What about this one? So one angle is forming 90 degrees, while the other angle is 49 degrees. So we add 49 plus 90 plus E is equals to 180. So therefore, 49 plus 90 is 139. Then we subtract it to 180, which is 41 degrees. So angle A is 41 degrees. Got it? Now let's try to assess our learning objectives. So first we calculate the missing angles of a right angle. Now we calculate the missing angles of a straight angle. Now we're going to deal with the calculating the missing angle of a circle. In a circle, remember that the sum of the measures of a circle, the total, the total uh, rotation is equal to 360 degrees. So the angle that forms a circle is 300, has a 360 degrees measure. So if you're going to look at this, if we add all the angles, that must be 360 degrees. Now let's try to calculate this one. So you have your angle A and you have this angle. Now, basically this is 90 degrees, right? So we add 205 plus 90 degrees plus A, it's equals to 360 degrees, all right? So what will be the answer? So first add these two, 205 plus 90, you will get 295, okay? And then you subtract it to 360, you will get 65 degrees. So angle A is basically a 65 degrees angle, got it? So basically you have a 65 degrees angle here. Now, let's move on. Calculate the angles of a circle. So if you have 99 degrees and 152 degrees, how do you find the measure of angle A? First, write the mathematical statement. 152 plus 99 plus A is equals to 360 degrees. And then we add the two given angles. 152 plus 99 is 251. And then we subtract the sum into, uh, from 360. So 360 minus 251, we, have, we will have 109 degrees. So therefore A is 190, 109 degrees, All right? Let's have one more, okay. Calculate the measure of angle A. All right. 180 minus 54 is 126. Calculate the measure of angle B. First add 140 plus 67 plus B is 360. Then add the two given angles, subtract from 360. Therefore B is equals to 153 degrees, all right? Is it all clear? Okay. Now for your task, you can work this out. Page 100, uh, page 90, questions one to nine. Calculate the measure of the, uh, the missing angles. Then post your answer in the class drive folder. Then let us assess our learning objectives. First, we calculate the missing angles already. We have a right angle and a straight line and in a circle. Now we're going to apply the knowledge in calculating the missing angles. Let's have our problem solving. James is looking at the hands of the clock. He estimated the measure of the angle is 150 degrees. Is he correct? Explain your answer. So this is the hands of the clock. Okay. Now, what do you think is the measure of this? So if you put a protractor covering on this, you will see that the protractor pointed on between 140 and 150 degrees. Therefore, the measure of that is 145 degrees. But the main question is this, what is the measure of the other angle? Okay. If we want to calculate the measure of the other angle, what do we do? We subtract 180 minus 145, we will have 35 
degrees Celsius. Got it? Okay. That's all for today. And thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to answer all your exercises that I have mentioned. See you guys next time for another exciting lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.